Hallelujah, children of God. I greet you all this morning, wherever you're watching me, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am here this morning to share with us the revelation that God showed to me uh, concerning the song that we sing. And also to tell you my personal experience about a song that I sang. And what happened that day that I sang the song. I pray the Lord give us understanding as we listen. Before I share this message, I want to ask one question. Do you know that the song we sing has a spiritual implication in our life? either positive or negative, as you patiently sit and listen to this message, the Lord will communicate to you in Jesus' name. One morning, as I was busy cleaning the house, as usual, and a song came to my heart, and this was a song I was singing. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He walk upon the sea. Hallelujah. He made the dead to rise. Hallelujah. He made the deaf to hear. Hallelujah. He made the lame to walk. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What manner of man is Jesus? Hallelujah. He made the lame to walk. He made the blind to see. He made the deaf to hear. He made the dumb to speak. He raised the dead from the dead. And he healed all manner of sicknesses. He woke upon the sea. I was busy singing this song repeatedly. I was singing it, I was singing it with excitement in my heart. Unknowingly that this song that I was singing would take me to a deep revelation. Then in the night, while I was sleeping, in my revelation, I saw myself standing by the seashore. The sea was very large, and I saw that I was standing by the side of it. And I was singing this song, this same song that I sang in the morning. What manner of man is Jesus, hallelujah. He walk upon the sea, hallelujah. While I was busy singing it right there in the revelation, Looking at the sea, I saw the Lord Jesus walking on top of the sea and was coming towards me, dressed with his white garment, looking glorious and beautiful. He was just walking on top of the sea and facing me directly. So he was coming towards where I was standing while I was still singing. Even as I saw him, I didn't stop singing. I was still busy singing. What manner of man is Jesus? In the twinkling of an eye, I just saw myself walking on top of the sea and still singing with excitement in my heart. What manner of man is Jesus? But this time around, I was the one walking on the sea, but the Lord was just standing there quietly and looking at me. As I saw that it, it was Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, I wasn't afraid. I did not panic. I saw myself walking majestically on top of the water. I was not sinking. Suddenly, I began to sink in, in this water. I was sinking. I was still singing the song. I didn't stop. I was still looking at our Lord. But this time, I was, I was like crying. I wasn't singing again with confidence. As I saw myself sinking and the Lord, to the point I have sunk up to, the Lord did not come to the sea to bring me out. He was just there looking at me. Then I stretch out my hands to him and I scream. I said, Jesus, please save me. And immediately the Lord came on top of the sea, held my right hand, and the Lord brought me out. That dream ended. We all remember in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse number 26. When the Lord walked on the sea, he tested Peter, asking him to come to the sea and Peter walked on the sea a little while Peter began to sink what I confirm in this dream I was also tried the way God tested Peter you can see that what triggered this revelation was the song that I sang again this one I want to share now is not a dream it is a practical experience 
that I had. I also wake up one morning, I was busy sweeping the house. I'm this kind of person that when I'm walking, I like singing. This was a song that I was singing that morning. I sang this song in my dialect, which I know that many of you will not understand it. And this is how the song goes. He made me to have something. Jesus made me to have something. He made me to have something. Something that I need. Jesus made me to have something. Oh Lord made me to have something. Jesus made me to have something. Something that I need. Ayashim kohiriyem. Ayashim kohiriyem. Ayashim kohiriyem. Iyama umbacha. Jesus ashim kohiriyem. Ayashim kohiriyem. Ayashim kohiriyem. Iyama umbacha. Papa ya shimo kuhiriye, ide ya shimo kuhiriye, e ya shimo kuhiriye, iye mangu macha. Immediately I finished singing the song. A visitor appeared in my house. A very big woman that I used to know. The woman came with this gift and gave to me. And actually it was something that I need. So, so all this song that we sing sometimes, it used to have meaning in our life spiritually that manifests into the physical. This was my experience. Finally, this last experience that I just received from our Lord, God, and Savior, before I went to bed, I pick up my phone and I said, let me check the comment section of my channel to see if there are comments I need to reply. As I finished from that page, my eyes stumbled on another program I saw there. The program interests me, and I said, okay, let me look at it. While I was looking at that program, I saw that they were singing worldly music inside that program. This was a song they were singing. Nah, my business. If I broke, nah, my business. Nah, my business. If I broke my business. So I was listening to it. The program was interesting. I was laughing. So after I finished, God was watching me. I dropped my phone. I prayed and I slept. While I was about waking up that morning, I wake up with the, this dream. Nah, my business. I was busy singing it. If I broke my business, I did not remember any dream that I had. I had. But all I saw was I was singing this song. Nah, my business. If I broke nah, my business, ah, nah, my business. I was singing the song, I was singing it. I woke up. Something just ministered to me that that thing we were watching yesterday displeased with the Lord. I did not remember one good dream that I had. But the only thing I could remember was that worldly music that they are singing in the secular world. I was singing it as if I was there with them. Let me tell you what we don't know. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse number 13 that we all are naked before the eyes of God. Remember in the book of Proverbs chapter 21 verse number 2 that every way of a man is right in his own sight. The Lord knows our hearts. He sees all that we do. The child of God, we are not supposed to associate ourselves with the things of the world. That is why the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18. It says, Come out from among them and be ye separate. It says, Friendship with the world is enmity with God. In, in the book of James 4, verse 4, you don't need to have anything to do with their secular music. When we do this thing, we are taking pleasure with them and we, wish, we shall all be punished alongside with them. And we are taking pleasure in their program. We are taking pleasure in watching those people, that the people alone will not be punished, that we also, that are taking pleasure with them, God will destroy us. Just like the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 14, verse number 17, that the kingdom of God is not meat, it's not milk. Because sometimes I watch this comedy. Job said, 
I made a covenant with my eye not to look upon a maid. Have you made up that covenant? You are going to church, you are a deeper life woman, you are assembles of God, you are this, you are that, you are OBG. You watch all kinds of movies, you watch all kinds of entertainment. You follow them in their show. They invite you. Oh, we have this thing. Comedian are coming. Uh, actress are coming. They want to do this. Let's invite a man of God to come and pray for us. Let's invite a woman of God to come and pray for us. And all the women of God they are inviting is a woman of God that is living a holy and a righteous life. Or the man of God himself inviting all these worldly musicians to come and sing in his church. Of Romans chapter 1 verse 29 to 31. He said, all them that are taking pleasure with all those people that are inventing evil, they shall also likewise die. You may not understand why God rebuked me in this way. It is for you. It's for all of us to take warning. We that say we are in the narrow way. Remember the Bible saying, Mark 13, verse 37. What I speak to one, I speak to all. I have taken my warning today. Do not play with your salvation. Many of you are busy. You are singing a song. Oh, you are in heavenly race. Heavenly race, I don't go tired. Heavenly race, I don't go tired. Heavenly race, I don't go tired by the grace of God. Are you sure you are not tired already? Are you sure you are not tired already? What are those things in your phone? Comedy, Abby. I was doing it. I like watching comedy. But I'm taking my own correction today. Make a covenant with your eyes this morning and say, I will not watch comedy again. I will not take pleasure with this worldly musician. I will only preach to them, but I will not take pleasure in what they are doing. I will not be watching all this movie. They are acting, they are lying, they are deceivers. Make your own covenant this morning and say, I will not be part of it. Because that way, you may not be stealing, you may not be committing adultery, you may not be gossiping, but for the fact that you are still listening to their music and even singing it and even love it and even, and even supporting them, you are on your own. You will cry if you don't change today. I have shared what God has shown me. May the Lord God of heaven give us the grace to continue this race and not be tired until we see him face to face in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Learn to go for evangelism. It is Jesus' heartbeat. Go and check on the poor, the needy around you. Look out for the orphanage that you know, go there and visit the others. The Lord help you. In Jesus' name.